preparing us. Yeah. And so, Father God, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We thank you very much for the gift of today, the 18th day of the month of March 2024. We thank you for everything you have prepared for us. A feast of fat things on the leash. Lord, thank you. A feast of your word. Lord God, that you will indeed, you will cause us to hear us within, uh, to hear you within our spirit man. And that our mind will learn from our spirit that we might do your will from our heart in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the brethren that are going to log in from all over the world, from Europe, from Africa, from the United States of America, every from the Scandinavia, every part. Lord, we are asking that you just do that which you alone can do. We give you glory, praise, and honor forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So you're very welcome today in the name of Jesus. It's still morning. I mean, it's just noon. Of, it's noon now. It's 12 noon where I am. I know it's nighttime in Europe and in Africa. And uh, I want to appreciate you for taking time to come. And today I want us to study something that will start a series like I promised that will be, uh, will be studying when God speaks. When God speaks, not if he speaks, because he's always speaking. Just like we have radio stations that speak nonstop, 24 hours a day. But you don't hear them because you are not tuned in to the channel of the radio station that you desire. The same with television. Okay? So, God is speaking, but there are characteristics of him speaking. What do you expect? What? How do you respond? And all of that is important that we learn, or at least remind ourselves of that, so that we can be all that he wants us to be. Okay? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So come with me in the book of Hebrews chapter 1. The book of Hebrews chapter 1. I want to appreciate everyone that logged in early because it's the first of the series when God speaks. Uh, I'm going to be uh, brief and direct and we'll build on it next, next time we gather again in the name of Jesus. The book of Hebrews. Let's start to read from verse 1. Oh, Lord, anoint your word today. I will read in two versions, King James and the TPT. So here it goes. Throughout our history, God has spoken to our ancestors by his prophets in many different ways. The revelation he gave them was only a fragment at a time, building one truth upon another. But to us living in these last days, that portion is actually ours. To us living in these last days, God now speaks to us openly in the language of his son. In the language of his son. The appointed heir of everything. For through him, God created the panorama of all things and all time. All things and all time. Your life is timed. That's why they call it your lifetime. From cradle to grave, your life is timed. And because it's called your lifetime, everything in between, God intends to speak to it. He didn't want you to just talk about your problem. He also wants you to talk to the problem. Just like Jesus did not just come to earth or go to the cross. He went through the cross to the resurrection. And the resurrection gave the door open, the gateway for increase, the gateway for breakthrough, the gateway for blessings came through because God showed up for us. He showed up for us. So when he speaks, you expect some things to shape, to, to shape up. His words, his voice formed the earth. He spoke it into existence. So 
as a child of God, either daughter of Zion or a man child, when you come into the kingdom of Jesus, he expects your words to carry weight. That's why you're not allowed, you're not permitted to be frivolous with your mouth. Don't cause things that you don't want. Be careful what you speak so that you don't, they could do damage unintentionally. Don't do damage unintentionally with your mouth because the Bible says death and life is in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat the benefit. You need to learn how to use your mouth to create the benefit that you seek and the Lord God himself will bless your efforts in the name of Jesus. So the Lord himself will bless your effort even as you do battle with your mouth. Like I used to remind those of us who have been coming to this platform that your greatest weapon is in between your teeth. I repeat again, your greatest weapon is in between your teeth. And because it's in between your teeth, which is your tongue, you use it to co-create with God. So when God speaks, he also expects you to respond. God expects you to respond. So let me continue to read. We're reading Hebrews chapter 1 from verse uh, uh, 1. I'm already on verse 3 now. Said the sun is the dazzling radiance of God's splendor, the exact expression of God's true nature. True nature. Hallelujah. God, Jesus is the express image of the invisible God. And you are made in the image of God. So if they check your DNA, it actually, if I call DNA as divine natural attributes, okay? So the, the, the way God wants you to function is for you to know who you are so that you can uh, function the way you are expected to function. And as you do that, the best of heaven begins to be manifested through your life. It begins to be manifested through your life. So I read um, verse 4b, okay? The exact expression of God's true nature, his mirror image. He holds the universe together and expands it by the mighty power of his spoken word, his rima word, that spoken word, that exact specific creative word. That's what, that's what God's, the effect that God's word makes when he speaks. And he wants you to be intentional the way you mimic him. Because you came out of him. You are the object and the target of God's love. And so you can't afford to talk down on yourself or talk down on others. Your mouth is not meant for food alone. Your mouth is meant for warfare and to co-create. The Bible says you will be satisfied with the increase of your lips. So what is your mouth churning out? Your stomach will be filled with it. That's the way life works. Those who love life must manage life by moments because you live life forward, but you understand life backward. Life is to be lived progressively going forward. But the understanding of the progress you are making, you only understand that through hindsight. Okay? You understand that through hindsight. So let me continue again. He said, he holds the universe together and expands it. The expansion is to create room for every increasing creation an ever-increasing faith because he expects you to extend the coverage area that your sphere of influence will be. And that's why God expects you to speak like him. But because this is the first session on when God speaks, okay? The Bible says the, the earth belongs to God and he the, the said the, the, the heaven of heaven is the Lord's, but the earth has he given to the children of men. 
And whatever happens here, he holds us accountable. We demand and we, we change the face of the earth by speaking. Okay? We change the face of the earth by speaking. And those of us who, if you've ever been a teacher before, most students will mimic their teachers. When my own biological children were younger, the uh, I remember my first daughter, she's grown as a, a grown lady now. Uh, she used to use her teacher to threaten me. She would say, my teacher said, my teacher said, I said, look, I'm older than your teacher. Don't use your teacher to try because she's meeting her teacher and listening to her teacher every day. So she believes her teacher can never be wrong. So I told her, look, I'm more mature than your teacher. I'm very much more informed than your teacher. So please take this thing. Your teacher is only a support staff. I am the one that should impart knowledge to you first. Decorum, decency, boundaries, and consequences. It's my role. So your teacher will not play my role. Teachers form the, the way you think. They build your mind up. But before you know to build your mind up, build your spirit too. Hallelujah. She would, I would tell my teacher, and I, her teacher used to be a very nice lady. And uh, uh, so sometimes when I tell, don't do this, don't do this. I will tell my teacher. She will call the teacher's auntie, auntie so, so, and so. And I say, hey, I pay for your teacher to teach you. But if you, if you remember, the first period and the four teachers you have is your mom and myself. Okay? So God expects for us to learn from what he has said. He said, by the mighty power of his spoken word, the mighty power of God's spoken word, he accomplished for us the complete cleansing of sin and then took his seat on the highest throne at the right hand of one of the uh, right hand of the majestic one that is Elohim that is above all things so that's why Jesus is seated and that's where from which he speaks and he's still speaking till now you will saw from verse 1 how he spoke in the olden time through the prophets that the prophetic gift in his for because there is difference between the office of a prophet and the gift of prophecy. Every single one of you looking at me right now and listening can prophesy, actually. And in prophesying, there are two sides to it. There is the first telling and the foretelling. I repeat, there is the first telling, that is, you're speaking forth what scriptures has written. Now, the other side is you are foretelling what has not become as yet. Okay? What has not become as yet. You are creating it by speaking. That is another side of the prophetic. Okay? So, I need us to know that, hey, I need us to know that everything you do in you start by speaking. God, even Jesus, he start to teach. He start to do and teach. Okay? So you can be, as you learn to hear God speak, his words will guide you. But he already given us life's manual. The Bible is a life's manual. It's not a religious handbook. When you buy your computer, your computer comes with a manufacturer's manual. When God made you, it, there is a life manual attached, attached to your life. And the, the manuscript is found in the pages of scripture. You discover yourself in the word of God and every other thing becomes easier to navigate. They become easier to navigate. So why you wait for God? So a lot of the time we say we are waiting for God to lead us. But God is waiting for us, actually, to respond to his leading. And one of the primary things, because this is the one I'm going to emphasize today, and then we'll start to pray. 
is hear God speak to us through scriptures. That is where the spirit of the Son of God is. The scriptures is an inspired word written in man's language, but the source and the authorship is the Holy Spirit. He moved men to write down the whole counsel of God. And there is sequence in all that he do. They are not haphazard. They are all very well coordinated, written over thousands of years. Most of the writers didn't meet themselves. But it was just a slow, continuous flow. Because the source is still the same, one and only God, the only true God there is. Okay? So, I want us to see a few more scriptures and then we'll begin to pray. Okay? We'll begin, we'll, we'll begin to pray. Let's read the book of Malachi. I will read that in complete Jewish translation. Okay? Malachi, verse 7 of the second chapter. Malachi 2, 7. I'll read the complete Hebrew uh, translation. Say a Kohen's lips save God's knowledge, and people should seek Torah from his mouth because he is the messenger of Adonai Sabaoth. They call him Malachi. The word Malachi, the name Malachi actually means messenger. Hallelujah. So God is showing us systematically how to function how to function and the way we function ultimately determine what we can get from him because what you know of god determines what you can expect from him hallelujah what you know about god determines what you can expect from him if you know him better and closer when you are intimate with him when you are more acquainted with him, you are better off. Life begins to move forward in the trajectory. If you let God set the trajectory for you, you can only end up in a very good place. You can only end up in a very good place. And I want to assure you, God's counsel. I, I love the way Jeremiah put it. He said, I know the, I know the plans I have for you. Plans to benefit you, not to give you trouble. To give you a future you will be happy about. To give you a future you will be happy about. God already knows what your next experience will be. You are the only one who is not aware. And it's by him speaking that your spirit picks up his word and your mind works out the details and that is how being led by the Spirit of God works. And all of us needed to do that. My role is like that of a coach. The coach does not play in the competition. But without the coach, the team will never win. Okay? So I encourage you, learning to hear God and moving. Because if he's speaking and you're not listening, or you are listening and you are not acting. You're going to be spinning your wheel. You're not going to go far. But if you begin to be intentional about God's opinion, when you are intentional about God's opinion, life begins to pick up momentum and things begin to happen that will amaze you. Okay? Because God will always keep his word. If he has not kept it yet, it's because it's not time. But he will keep his word. And uh, I love the way the Bible puts it um, in Genesis. Hmm? I will show us this. Huh? Hmm. Verse 4, Genesis, verse 4 of chapter 17. Let's take, let, let, let's see that. 
He said, you know, we read in Hebrews 1, verses 1 to 5, how God spoke to people in the old covenant and how he's speaking now. Now we go to the old covenant to pick up a classic example. God was saying to a gentleman by the name Abraham, before he became Abraham, he was Abraham. Okay? He was Abraham before he became Abraham, father of many nations. But look at, as at the point in that verse 4 where God said to him, as for me, I'm already committed to you. It's up to you to fulfill your part of the commitment or the covenant and things will begin to add up. Okay? That was the way God functioned with them. And I want to function the same way with you and I. Okay? God wants us all to experience him. God want us all. Down the road, I'm going to start to teach a school of prophets so that you know how to appreciate the prophetic and the apostolic. I will start to teach. I will start to teach that. And I'm likely to have like a master class in which I will, you know, what do they call disciple? They discipline you after the order of the discipler. We can, we can go through that process and become better equipped so that the devil does not pull any veil over your face. You will, with unveiled faces, begin to see and be led into all that God has in you. And the more you practice that, the more proficient you become. We are meant to be apprentices or disciples. There is no discipleship without discipline. So we are meant to be that. Let's read that verse 4. Of uh, uh, Genesis 17. I read the King James first, and then I read the NLT sibling. Okay? Let me even read uh, from verse 1 to 4 for clarity. Okay? Let's read from verse 1 to 4 for clarity. Okay. Say, and when Abraham was 90 years old and nine, meaning he was 99 years old, almost a centenarian, okay? The Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. Let me read another version. What he said walk before me, and then become like me. That's the version I want to read. Okay? He said, walk before me hmm, faithfully and be blameless. And blamelessness is not going to happen by wishful thinking. Okay? When God said, I am El Shaddai, meaning I am the multi-breasted one and have a blameless life. A blameless life only happens through faith in God's faithfulness. I repeat, blameless life only happens through faith in God's faithfulness. That is to be imparted to you. Bible says, by the deeds of the flesh shall no man, no, by the deeds of the law shall no man be justified just as if he has never done anything wrong. But it takes faith for you to be justified, okay? But in this context, the Bible says, hmm? in fact, the what's the name, the good news said, walk before me, the almighty, I am the almighty God, obey me and always do what is right. Hmm? I'm just reading multiple versions, okay? Everything that God intended Hmm? You see, as for me, let me get to that verse 4. Hmm? Verse 2 says, and I will make my covenant, my commitment, my contract. I will sign a contract with you between me and thee, and will multiply thee exceedingly. And Abraham fell on his face, and God talked to him. And that's why the theme of the series we have started is, when God speaks, okay? When, 
not if, but when. When he speaks, things shape up. Okay? So God talked to him saying, as for me, in verse 4, my behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. And neither shall thy name any more be called Abraham, but thy name shall be called Abraham. For a father of many nations have I. I need you to look at your Bible. The, for the father of many nations have I made thee. He didn't say I shall make you. I need you to notice that. God is not saying I'm going to make you a father of many nations anymore. After that verse 4 where he said, as for me, my covenant, the contract is already signed. And I'm not going to rescind on it. I'm not going back on my word. So as for me, my covenant is with you already. Neither shall your name. Because I'm already committed to you, you will no longer bear your former name. I give you a new name. Meaning God is saying, I'm going to make you look like where you are going to, not where you are or where you used to be. I will create a mental picture in your head so that continually you see yourself, how your future will look like, and that will motivate you. Hallelujah. So, he said, that, let me read that verse 4 and 5 again together. I will soon stop teaching. I will start to pray. Next week, we'll pick it up again. And uh, let me show us here from the TPT here in Genesis. He said, I established my covenant with you. You will become a father of many nations. You will no longer be named Abraham because I am changing your name by meaning of that. Your, your status is being changed. I'm changing your name to Abraham for I have made thee. He didn't say I shall make you anymore. He said I have made thee. He immediately said my covenant is with you. You are no longer the person you used to be. You are changed. When God speaks, things change. That's the first attribute of God speaking. Things change. We live in a molecular world where 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. But in the realm where God is elevating you and I to where he has already, in God's mind, you're already elevated. But time will work out in the process of time because you live in the molecular earth realm that is already a falling realm, God is elevating you beyond all of that. He said, as for me, my covenant is already with you, and a father of many nations have I made you. I've already made you that. You are only going to grow into it. Through life experiences, you are only going to grow into it because I've already made you that, and you are becoming it. Okay? You are becoming it. You are becoming what I have already made you. Okay? Why does God speak? When God speaks, things happen. Even the earth realm adjust to God speaking. Okay? Let me cap it up here. I think we should wrap it up here. But let me show you something also in this same Genesis. Okay? Genesis 1, um, 27. Okay. And 28. So God created man in his own image and in the likeness and in the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them and God said unto them, be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over everything fish of the sea, birds of the sky, and all of that. You and I all know all that, okay? So God showed that. And after giving the dominion mandate, let me go to something. Uh, if you see in verse 29, please. They say, and God said, behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed. That is, every herb should have a seed in itself for the purpose of procreation. 
Okay? He said, I have given, not I shall give. He's speaking as though it's been done and you cannot change it. Now, come with me to chapter 2. Okay? I want to show us something here. Okay? Hmm. In chapter 2 here, There is something I want to show us here. The reason, come and look at it with me in verse uh, 5. Okay? You see, and every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and there, and every herb of the field before it grew for God, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth. And there was not a man to till the ground. The reason why God did not create rain first, because he knew the effect of that would be chaos, wild growth, sporadic growth. So he waited until somebody to administrate before he put that in place. Okay? Now, that's not just the place I'm going to, where he said in verse 20, I mean, chapter 2, in verse 7, the Lord man dust of the earth, look at it, and brought, he made man earlier, and then he formed man in this verse 7. Okay? God made man in his image in chapter 1. In chapter 2, so what did God form? What did he create in chapter 1? What is he forming in chapter 2? I need you to get that, that little uh, snippet of insight right there. Look at it, because I will stop here. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the earth. The first man that was created, Adam, is actually not Hispanic. Is not Caucasian. The man, the word Adam simply means something that was formed out of Adama. In the Hebrew, go and check it out. Adama means dark earth. Dark earth. Just like a sculpture taking a clay and forming a, a human, either effigy or a human portrait in sculpture piece. So God was the first sculptor. He formed the first man out of Adama. That's why he called him Adam. That which was made out of Adama. That was the way God made man. But before God made man, God has already created man in chapter 1. This is where I will stop today. You need to see that. Okay? The chapter 1, verse 28. I mean, if you see verse 26, let us make man. Hmm? He made man at the beginning in chapter 1, and then he formed man in chapter 2, verse 7, and then he breathed the man he made in chapter 1 into the structure he formed in chapter 2, and the, the Ad, Adam came out of Adam and became self-conscious. That consciousness came into him. That was God speaking. Now, he expects your words to form inside you before speaking. And when it forms, that's why he said, as a man thinking in his heart, your heart overflows through your mouth. You can create a better and a preferred future just by walking like your maker, like he made you, co-creator. Speak. Anything you don't want to experience, please don't say it. Don't let it come out through your mouth gate because your mouth is a gate that allows the overflow of your heart to come through it let me stop here let me stop here hallelujah but you've seen it he formed man uh, he made man in chapter one in chapter two of genesis he formed adam out of adama and breathed because god said he made let's make man in our image he transposed that upon that 
And that's what made Adam to rise out of Adama because God's spirit, God's breath, Raush Hokadesh, came into him. The breath of Elohim made him alive. And for you who you you who is born again already, God's breath of life is in you. Your mind is not just awake, your spirit is awake as well. A person who is not a believer as yet, you are just like a walking corpse. Your 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 conscience will not spy uh uh sorry, your your conscience will not uh smite you if you've done anything okay when your conscience will not smite you if you've done something very wrong because you're not there yet okay so we give thanks to god for the series of today's teaching because we'll stop in now and we'll begin to pray hallelujah begin to pray. Let's thank the Lord for the things he has taught us today. And as you begin to learn to speak like him, because his words carry weight. The word weight there is doxa. It carries, his words are glorious. And glory means weight. Weight means it has responsibility that comes along with it. Hallelujah. So Father, thank you very much for everyone that you gathered today. Lord God, how you will engage with us. Let divinity breathe upon our humanity. Create an atmosphere of a free flow of your spirit here, right now, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sister Michaela, can you please unmute for me? Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. The Lord says, uh, write a new decree, Esther chapter 8. Let your mouth begin to create your next experience. That's what the Lord is saying. And he will say, as you speak to my ear, I will do to you. So you need to journal what you write from now on, far from today. Create yes. a structure and the Lord's breath. Okay. The yes, word sir. God, the breath of God will cause it to come alive just like the Adam came out of Adama, out of the speaking you will do in this season, which is the, the deepest desires of your heart, create by speaking. Because God will show himself strong as you speak like him, his nature will find expression. Lord, thank you for doing this for your daughter. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. He said, I'm clearing away everything that seems to be sounding discordant to me, that there will be clarity. I speak clarity over you, over your mind right now, in the name of Jesus. That the mind of Christ will find Amen. expression to you, and your lips will decree what God has been waiting for you to speak. And in speaking, you will co create with Him in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Ah, Mama Eugenia, welcome. So nice to have you. Please, can you please unmute for me? Hello, Mama Eugenia. Can she hear? I know she can hear me. Please unmute yourself and let me pray with you. Who is with you there? Hello. <laughs> Who is there? Grace. Sir, can you meet Grace, please? Are you with Mama Eugenia? If you're not with her, please, please with her. Hallelujah. Let's let's press on. Aisha. You can unmute. Good evening, please. sir. Good, good evening, sir. Good evening. Aisha, I want to pray with you right now. <clears throat> yes, sir. Thank you, yes, sir. Father. 
the Lord is saying, I should tell you, you will no longer walk lonely or feel lonely anymore. Lord, I rebuke everything that makes your daughter to feel lonely, isolated, even in the city of the crowd. Lord God, I tell me back in the realms of her mind. Lord God, I want to decree every form of mental fog that create a hazy look to things. Lord, I speak clarity to her mind that, Lord God, that you will form a, a shield around her in the name mm -hmm. of Jesus. Let your confidence mm -hmm. soar, even like the eagles, even as the mount of the wings. Let confidence Amen. come upon you, even from the Amen. Spirit of God, in the Amen. name of Jesus. The enemy Amen. has tried to make you like underestimate what you what you can accomplish. And that struggle, am I, am I sure this thing can work? And that has kept you almost like on a nine to five kind of work basis. But God says there is more, you know inside you there is more that you can do. Yes. But the, the mental fog, not being sure, has kept you back. But the Lord is yes. saying, I should tell you, I speak over you right now and I release your mind. Amen. Even that those uh, special talents and endowments of God that you are not, you, you are wondering what others will say about it because it's kind of, it, it's doing the same thing in a different way, in a special way that marks it out. Lord, let the ideas that you have planted take root from this day and begin Amen. to grow in the name of Amen. Jesus. No Amen. longer limit yourself by what men are saying or by what you are observing. That's it. Look, even if there is scarcity in the land, God can give you what I call Holy Spirit inspired ideas that will carve a market for you. Receive Amen. right now in the Amen. name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, sir. Yeah. If you've been doing Amen. a nine to five job before, please take Amen. out of money from your savings and register a company. Don't look down on it. Okay? Okay, sir. Thank and you, sir. You don't need to go and get a big office and then just... <laughs> <laughs> you yes. don't need all of that but just start something I don't know what you do for a living but God is just trying to challenge you to do much more because there is much more waiting for you okay yes, much Amen. more is waiting for you so I decree you receive that in Jesus Amen. name Amen. hallelujah Amen. hallelujah okay sir um, my junior can hear you, but the app wasn't allowing her to unmute. Really? Yeah, that's what she said. Okay. So, so where she's is hearing it? you. Okay. My Eugenia, okay. Okay, now okay, let me get back to her now. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, Father God, Amen. I want to thank you for your daughter, your servant. Thank you for the fear of God. Lord God, the, 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 the mighty one of Jacob. Now, Ma, hear this. The Lord is saying that he has already paved the way and that laughter comes through. And as laughter comes through, he said you will hold him, he said you will keep them in perfect peace. Amen. Mm -hmm. Whose mind is stayed on God? That's the book of uh, uh, Isaiah 28. No, 26, sorry. Isaiah 26. Let me, let me check that out. Isaiah 26. Okay. Isaiah 26 from verse 2. Okay. From verse 2. So open you the gates that the righteous nation which keeps the truth may enter in. In verse 3 it says, Thou shalt keep him in perfect peace. I speak the peace of God over you. The season mm -hmm. is right and Lord God thank you for laughter in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Something looks like uh, it looks like, uh, I don't want to call it an allergy but mm -hmm. the Lord is saying the root of it, the discomfort it created is drying up 
and losing its effect on you because God's mm -hmm. light is activated. Whatever mm -hmm. irritants like an allergy that has kind of come around you, the root of it dries up now in the name of you to receive comfort round about you in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm so glad to have you back, man. Thank you, Father. Okay, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Hallelujah. I'm glad to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Abayo, me, can I hear from you? And after that one, I can. Uh, I want uh, Sister Nessa and Mudupa Lua can uh, Abayo, me, can you please? Yes, yeah. Hallelujah. Please, man, mm -hmm. put your right hand on your chest where you are, if you can, if you are not driving. Can you please put your right hand mm -hmm. on your chest? Yes, sir. Lord, I speak confidence and I speak boldness over her right now in the mm -hmm. name of Jesus. She mm -hmm. will take hold of that which you've already uh, approved. The Lord said mm -hmm. that which I have approved for you. No body and no human, born of a woman, can stop it. It mm -hmm. said it comes through. So mm -hmm. reach out in faith and lay hold on that mm -hmm. which is already. So the issue mm -hmm. of being a co-creator, you need to maintain your confession. Mm -hmm. Never succumb to that which the enemy wants you to use your mouth to sabotage yourself by saying, am mm -hmm. I sure I can do this? Remember mm -hmm. Philippians 4.13. Mm -hmm. You remember what is written there, right? Yeah. Thanks. Okay. So, Make that Thank your expression. Yeah. Yeah. And there will be a performance Amen. in the name Amen. of Jesus. I release praise over you that there will be Amen. a performance. The translation is here and it Amen. will not speak in the name of Jesus. I see it shall come to pass. Amen. That is the time, Amen. the time of fruitful rejoicing is here. Let me do it in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. Inessa, and after that, Modupe can come through. Inessa, I'm can here. Come yeah, I'm here. Okay. Lord God, thank you for covering your daughter in light. Thank you for covering your daughter. With it. Thank you for spotlighting Inessa. Thank you for doing this for her, Lord God. Lord God, I want to praise you because you know how to do this. Lord, thank you for spreading the news and letting it go even to the ends of the earth. Thank you for the grace of God that spotlights, that brings to the place of significant exposure. Lord, thank you because you light up your daughter in the name of Jesus. Thank you for setting the speed, not at her own pace, but at your pace in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you for doing this right now. The Lord says, I will hold your hand and lead you into where I have prepared for you. Be, of, be strong and be very courageous. Be strong and be very courageous because I will lead you by the hand and introduce you into your significance. And that has already started. Father, thank you for doing this for your daughter. Thank you because he said, in the fear of the Lord is strong confidence. Let our confidence soar mightily in jesus name amen amen, amen. now the good the next this coming month is going to be very significant because there's going to be a lot of communication that will happen in fact a bit of traveling also with it but then it's going to lead you into a good place but i thank you for adding speed in jesus name amen amen thank you yeah Thank you. Um, what's your name? Uh, yes, Modupe. Yeah, Lord, thank you very much, please, for... He said, rise... Perfect. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. The Lord is said, rise and take possession. Walk through the land. Rise, take possession. Walk through the land. To and fro. And at least literally lay claim to what I'm offering. Lay claim, the Lord is saying, to what I'm offering. For you will hear a word behind you. Say, 
this is the way to go. The time for supernatural direction. Lord God, setting up appointment, supernatural direction, setting up appointment that things begin to line up. Thank you for speed. Amen. Amen. Jesus. And he said, you will soon look from the place where I positioned you. And you will look down and see all that has been, all the clusters that have been down there that are impeding people's progress. And you will be able to speak to them. Not help to manually remove them, but by speaking, they will hear your voice. And as soon as they hear your voice, they will conform and align with that which I help you to set in motion, my daughter. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 He's giving a subtle warning that please, for now, don't just let any person lay hands on you anyhow. If you are not clear with it, how to go through, okay? Okay. It's just a seasonal. This for this season, some things are being incubated within your human spirit. Don't don't uh, take on uh, laying on of hand for any reason for now. It's not for ever for now. Don't stay clear. Because the next thing that will happen, you will see the reason why somebody wanted to do this. So please just speak. Please don't please don't do this. Just speak. Okay, and I will thank right, you for that which you have set in motion. Let it speed up and complete that we may gather together and Amen. celebrate it in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You, You're welcome. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God. Yeah. Amen. Let's, let's pray together. Uh, where is uh, this person? Yeah. There is a, um, okay, it's here. There. Fumilayo, Uluwa Fumilayo, Abuja. Can you please open up for me? Unmute for me. Mommy, yes, sir. Yeah. Sam, yes, sir. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise God, sir. Thank you, Lord. He said, I will cause your eyes to see the path, the, the path that the eyes of the eagles have not seen. Amen. Please write it down Amen. when you're, this meeting I'm is. I'm recording, sir. He said, I will open your eyes to see the path that the eyes of the eagles of this world have not noticed. Lord God, as you show her the things that most are not noticing, Lord God, that she'll be able to take advantage of what she'll be able to process through that. Amen. Thank you for Amen. doing Lord, thank you thank for the you revelation Lord. of who you are. Jehovah, thank you, Lord. let your goodness that she will catch a revelation of your goodness right now. Please, mark your hand on your own head and just speak after me. Lord, I thank you because a revelation of your goodness be imparted to the spirit of this woman. In the name of Jesus, the revelation Amen. of who you are, your goodness, Lord God, Amen. that she will be able to notice opportunity. Thank you. For Amen. In Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 You need to begin Amen. to turn out whatever dream you have if you're not doing it already. Before you go okay. to bed, put a bed, either use your phone to record your dreams or Put a note and a pen beside your bed. If you wake up out of a dream quickly while it's still fresh, scribble it down. Okay, sir. Things are good. Some new path we're going to come so that we're going to be able to vet and go through. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Now, if you're you. there, can you please uh, come up? And then, Bola, if uh, Violet, if you're there, let me hear your voice. Say amen or praise God. And let's pray. Violet? Amen. Amen, Apostle. Amen. Okay. Okay. I see you now. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. 
<laughs> the Lord says, I'm your help. Mm -hmm. Don't mind what they say. I am your help. Amen. He said, it doesn't matter who the little clique that you thought are bickering and talking about you behind your back and you're beginning to feel uncomfortable. Only God knows what they are talking about me now. The Lord says, it doesn't matter what they say about you. Have your peace. Right now, I speak the peace of God over you in the name of Jesus. And uh, the Lord said, I'm going to repair the breaches that needed to be repaired. Just have your peace. Lord God, thank you. I speak your shalaim over her right now in the name of Jesus. It said, I will show you a sign for good that help is actually here already. You used to say it's on the way, but now you will say help is here because you will see the difference it makes when God helps. I cause a release of divine help to come through. You need to dispel whatever you think or whatever makes you uncomfortable because you think they're speaking this and speaking that behind your back. Don't make that, don't make that your business. Focus on your God. You will put them in their place. Okay? In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, Sister Olivia, Minister Olivia, please. You said the song has started. Hello, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, please. Please. yeah, this is what the Lord is saying. He said the new song has started, and the echo of it will only rise. Yes, the the the, the sound of the uh, re rejoicing will only rise higher and higher. Amen. And the decibel will increase. The volume will increase. Father, thank you. For you said, out of them that proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them that make merry. Let the voice of those celebrating with you, Lord God, let it increase. Let it Amen. become more vocal in the name Amen. of Jesus. The Amen. Lord said, I'm sheltering you, and that's why they could not access you. The Lord said, I will make the path of the wicked to be slippery. So, Lord God, thank you for your word is coming to pass in her experience Amen. in the Amen. name of Jesus. The Lord said, I will cause things to come into a major and give you an advantage. There is a major that is coming, and God says, I'm going to put you in place literally to supervise the new thing that's coming through. Yes, Amen. supervise. You will be the one that will be able to preside over it. Thank you for making this happen in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. 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 You will soon forget Amen. what it is like. You will soon forget what it feels like to struggle with the things you feel. When will all of this be over? Say you will soon Amen. forget because as God is as far as God is concerned, they are done now, they are over. Amen. I speak a new season into existence. Amen. In Jesus' name. Thank Amen. You. Amen. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let's 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 pray. Yes. Uh, see, uh Brother Guna, can you please open up for me? Brother Guna. My son Guna, open up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Oh Father, thank you. It's seven that have anointed you to raise many to light, to bring them into where they could see differently because of the light of God that will spotlight you to bring men into their true purpose. And as I take you through what I take you through is a process that will help you appreciate what I've invested into you.
I will begin to give it to you in phases, in line after line. And as this process carries on, many will come with intentions that are not too sincere. But I will be able to give you wisdom to help you dispel even the trick that they want to pull so that you can establish them where they need to be. To receive help in the name of Jesus. Receive help in the name of Jesus. That you be able to help to lift many out of pain and out of squalor. Thank you. Because God will not demand of you what he has not imputed into you previously. So receive the fullness of the benefits of redemption in Jesus' name. Amen. You have been shown to me like a firstborn son. That God, God is right now. And all that you need to play that role. Either you have thought biologically or not, is the role of the firstborn son that God is placing you in. So let me know are you a firstborn son? Are you the eldest alive or what? First. You are the first. Yes, sir. I didn't know that information about you before. I'm just knowing now. Because yes, sir. you have to play the role in Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. After the person I asked, where is uh, the. Sir, can you move the place, please? So can you I've mean, grace her before it's... because I think uh, she doesn't know the rules here. Grace, you need to really. If I have to mute you again, I will have to block. Glory. Please, Grace, stay muted unless I'm talking to you. Okay? Bola, please, can you open up for me so that we can pray together, man? Hallelujah. Yeah. Can you hear me, man? Yes, I could have done so. Okay. The Lord said I should speak his peace over you. And the deadlines will come and you will be ahead of it. And Lord God, I agree and I speak your peace over Bola right now. I speak peace. Yeah. I thank you that every deadline will be met even ahead of the deadline Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let every voice that is not of God begin to be silenced and drowned. First Samuel, <laughs> yes, First Samuel chapter 2 from verse uh, excuse me, First Samuel chapter 2 from verse 6 to 10, especially verses 9 and 10. Please write it down and go and read it. Yes, sir. My friend shall no man prevail and mm. the wicked shall be silenced in darkness. I speak Amen. God's peace over you. Amen. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. 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 Thank so you. Be, so. of, be, be of good courage. God Amen. is on your case. Amen. Be of good courage. God is on your case. Deadlines will not come until you are ready for it. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, Brother Reg, I can pray with you now. If you can hear me. I wonder if, uh, yeah, Brother Reg, I, I, if you're there, if you can hear me, I want to pray with you. Okay, he can't hear me yet. Please. Yeah, maybe he can't unmute. Sometimes some people can't. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to let uh, let him unmute.
but all the same, let me just pray. Lord God, I want to thank you for you bring a new season upon him. Lord, I pray that, Lord God, that there will be a supernatural breathing upon. Take him beyond that which men have spoken to him. Lord God, that the things that you... Hello, did you ask me to speak? Yeah, okay, now you can hear me. Yeah, please, can you do this for me? Put your right, put your hand on your left ear. Yeah, thank you. I, I didn't hear you before, but I can hear you now. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Yeah, put your hand on your, your left ear and let me pray. Le pro valida se en flokes kunan revia le suzi na madrale kabak to boloni sania i. Lord, I pray that and the on Lord your left ear, God he said. Bring Lord God wholeness even upon my brother Reg in the name of Jesus that you bring wholeness upon him in the name of Jesus. Let your mark be placed on his life, Lord God, to advance him in the name of Jesus. Let your voice come through even to Brother Reg right now in the name of Jesus. By the stripes of the wounded Christ who was raised from the dead, let the benefits of redemption be applied to you. Enjoy it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yeah, Sister Fuller. Yeah, can you can you better? Yeah. Amen. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. Uh, praise him. Sister Fulasha. Praise God. And you, yeah. Can Hello, you, sir. Uh, yeah. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Lord God, I want to thank you. Except the Lord's mind is made up. The expectation, the days set, and more. He said it will come to pass that even though it looks big and you wonder how can all these things add up. I think it's the Lord is saying the numbers will add up. Mm -hmm. Only wait for me. Mm -hmm. the numbers will add up. Only wait for me. And mm -hmm. so, Lord, I thank you. Because the things you are setting up, you will complete the process. And somebody is having a pain on the left shoulder. Who would that? Among us here. So there's a pain on the left shoulder. So whosoever that is, please let that individual. I don't want to skip it while it is still hot. Yeah. Let, let it let it be relieved right now in the name of Jesus. I believe mm -hmm. that the, the soothing for the breathing upon of the Holy Spirit. Let it come upon that individual right now in Jesus' name. Lord God, I thank you. For through faith and patience, for last shall they. You experience the promise. Amen. Grace to experience the fulfillment. Amen. 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 Good. Thank you, sir. You're God welcome. Bless you, sir. So, Sister Shade, Sister Shade pops in. Can you please unmute yes, for sir. me? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord God. The Lord is saying. The night is far spent. A new day is dawning. And in, in this new day, there shall be no scarcity. The night is far spent. A new day is dawning. And he said, in this new day, there shall be no scarcity. Amen. God, God, thank you because you will cause her to eat bread and be full. Amen. Thank you for a season of fullness. Thank you for a season of fullness mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the season of fullness. He mm -hmm. said, out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. And the, uh, and the uh, voice of them that make merry. Father, thank you. Oh, Lord God, let that which you have already plucked be planted correctly. Mm -hmm. So that, Lord God, that she will be able to rejoice over that which you have brought to the table. 
in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Yeah, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Yeah, Dolly, can you please unmute for me? Yeah. I guess that's the lot for but your name is Dolly. Can you please just unmute for me? Thank you. Can you can you please unmute for me? Please take your pray. Mm -hmm. Still have time? Hallelujah. I can't see you. Please, the lack of, can you please unmute for me? Good evening, sir. Okay. Good evening. I want us to pray together. He said, my trail and my presence, my trail and my presence will attend you so that you will see things from my perspective. My trail and my presence will accompany you so that you will see things from my perspective. Father, thank you for giving a different perspective to your daughter, different from that which she carries right now in her hair but lord thank you for showing that which she is not even considering or looking at before thank you for opening her up to it receive that in the name of jesus the lord says i want to show you something different something new so that increase will become like a piece of cake Father, amen please lord god for you cause her to notice and to see things Different from the way she saw it before today. Lord, please put your right hand on your eyes. Lord God, that Amen. you will anoint her, her both eyes to see not just in the natural, but also in the spirit. Lord, to be able to see the perspective of the divine in, in dealing with the things that are earthly, that she will be able to gain a perspective of the divine even to see the things that are going on in, in the earth realm. So with that, that she'll be able to make informed choices. The Lord said, don't be facing the choice. You will make the excellent choice because his eyes Amen. will be Thank you for doing this, Lord. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Sorry, sir. My, my sis sister is here. Okay. Sister please. Viola. Okay, yes. if she's there with you, let her just uh, <laughs> yeah, good evening, man. Hallelujah. I'm yeah, very well, thank you too. very much, oh God, for uh Biola, uh my sister here. Lord, thank you for yes. okay. The Lord says that which you are discussing is like you sought a heart to heart counsel from a trusted person near you because a, a major decision needed to be taken but with what is in front of you you wonder if it's the proper time to do that or you should just uh, try to look away from it the lord says if you hold back from defending yourself or trying to uh prove a point to a person who is not going to be who is not even going to listen to the point you want to prove. So don't dissipate energy. Let me fight for you and set the record straight on your behalf. Does so that yes, make sir. some sense to you? You are asking how should, yes, I re how should I respond? Should I like go on the offensive, go after social -so thing or, or should I just, what do I do? What do I do? That's the crossroad you are. But the Lord is saying, I'm able to fight for you. Hold your peace. Because if you try to fight for yourself, it will look like in the case in which you are right, it may be because you overdid it, you did, you went into an attack mode and you made an overkill and they later blame you even for what you were not guilty about. So please show some restraint. God is going to fight for you. Clear Amen. your name. And all of that, the record will be straight. Even the person who seems 
to have been the one that, as it were, like wronged you, mm. will come back mm. and say, yeah, mm. sorry. This individual looks like a man, like, like a man that is almost going a war. That's the best way I can describe this fellow. But if you let him fight for you, huh? You are very right, Daddy. I I, I don't know. You are very right, Daddy. You, know, you say okay. The Lord said, "I will put a hook in his jaw and drag him back in." Hmm. Father, Amen. This man, put your hand Amen. on your head where you are right now. Lord God, I thank you in the name of Jesus. I cause a release. Amen. Let your mercy speak over this woman and that she will be defended Amen. by you in Jesus. Amen. Receive his peace Amen. in Jesus. Amen. Name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank yeah, you, Yvonne. Thank yeah, Yvonne, can you please? You came in quite early today. I'm sure I've never met you before. Yvonne, can you unmute for me? Yvonne from Freetown. Of course, I'm sure Freetown yes, is your surname. But I think yes, you are Freetown. That's in Sierra Leone. Okay. Yeah, let's pray together. The Lord says, I'm clearing every confusion in your path. Lord, I rebuke the spirit of confusion. Let there be direction henceforth going forward in Amen. the name of Jesus. I Amen. speak that every confusion be cleared out. That Lord Amen. God that will make her path straight. No longer Amen. one step forward, two steps sideways, wondering what is the next one. Lord, every confusion that is being created around her, I command them to shut down in the name Amen. of Jesus. So that she can travel Amen. a straight line, even with her Amen. life. In the name mm -hmm. of Jesus. I speak by the authority mm -hmm. of the risen Christ. Move forward. Amen. In Jesus' name. Move Amen. everything that holds you, you back be broken. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. you Thank you, sir. Thank significant you, sir. change going forward. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What is still trying to come in? Oh, Thank hallelujah. You, yeah, Naomi. Oh, my daughter Naomi is just coming. Good. Welcome in, Naomi. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Madonna, I want to pray with you. Yeah. Where is Mad Madonna? Let me pray with you. And then, uh, if I'm not talking to you, please stay muted. Okay? Madonna, can you please unmute for me? Yes, I'm unmuted, sir. Okay. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord did say to pray with you. He only said, I should. He said, some good news are dropping for you. Amen. Either, either you are aware, aware of it already, or it's just about to break. So this might be an advanced intel that you are having. I'm not aware of anyone, sir. Okay, don't worry. It's coming through. Amen. I, 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 I won't be surprised if it comes through before the next meeting. Is that clear? Amen. And so, Amen. Father, let there be a performance. Luke chapter Amen. one, verse twenty. I mean, Luke chapter one, uh, verse forty-five and forty-three. Let there be a performance of that which I intended for my people. Amen. 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 Because she will be the go-to person in Jesus. Amen. Thank you for Amen. your preference in Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. So let me pray with you. Uh, uh, yeah. Where is, okay, yeah. This, yeah. yeah. Please, Ma, can you just unmute for me? Can you please, ma? Mama Black Shirt, can you please? Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma. Now, just a single word for you. He said, what will come next with, will be 
a news that will call for celebration. What comes next will be a news that will call for celebration. And so, Lord, I come into alignment and an agreement with your daughter. I'm asking that, Lord God, let your word speed to performance. The time of fulfillment is here. There is a time to make a promise. There is the time for the promise to be tested, to know which of what quality is made. And there is a time for the fulfillment of the promise. Let the promise be fulfilled towards your daughter, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for the occasion for celebration. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You might remind yourself to refresh yourself. Jeremiah 30, verse 19. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Ashiwaju, can you please do that? And then, Sister Laju Moke, can you follow that? Ashiwaju, yeah. Adinka. Can you hear me? Hello. Is anybody still listening? I'm listening, sir. Good evening, sir. Okay. I yes, called I told you first, but he didn't answer. Okay, yeah. I, unmute yourself. Let me hear so that if I speak, I know you are listening. Oh. Okay. All the things I would not say. Okay, good. Maybe your phone is struggling to to unmute. Let's pray real quick. Thank you, Father. He said, I will carry you like a body of water carrying that which was dropped in it until you get to where you need to uh, make an inroad into the space wherein I have prepared for you. And in fact, there's even a testimony that is burdened. The Lord is saying it's going to arrive faster than you have speculated. Lord, thank you for coming, for, for the early arrival of your promise. Thank you for early arrival of your promise. Say more than, earlier than you speculated is arriving. And so, Father, thank you. It's a decree. Lord, we agree with your word and let there be a performance of the same. We take delivery of it, the early arrival of that which you have already dispensed of which you have already disbursed, let it arrive fast in Jesus' name. And everything that has been resistant to its arrival, let them go up in flames. Thank you for doing it, Lord. In Jesus' name. Is that like a plant, that like a palm tree that henceforth, every planting, investment, what looks like an intellectual property, the Lord is saying it's going to begin to yield results or dividends in the name of Jesus. Thank you for doing this, Lord God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Where is, uh, yeah, all large, okay, yeah. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening, ma'am. Hallelujah. The field is ripe, says the Lord. The field is ripe. And he said it's, it's harvest time. Put in Amen. your pruning hooks. Yes, you care to bring it in. Lord, thank you for harvest. Lord, thank you for harvest. And let the harvest come through. Lord, Amen. Lord, thank you for that which you have set forth. Lord, thank you. She will no longer second guess her time. Is it the proper time yet? Is it the proper time yet? But Lord, thank you. Because Amen. you said you are the one that determines the increase. Let it come through. In Amen. Amen. There seems to be a finishing of a project. It looks like a literally like a building project, almost like a complete renovation, just like 
renovation or rebranding the same thing to look completely mm -hmm. different and look way better. Thank you for mm -hmm. supply in the Thank name you. of Jesus. This is not a spiritual thing. This is a physical building. Amen. But it to fix it right again. Lord God, thank you for the release in the name of Jesus. And Amen. if there have been the pain around the midside in the, on the spine, between mm. the clavicle, like they there, just stretch like that. Lord God, thank you for the balm of Gilead. Let Amen. every pain Amen. around that place. And uh, Lord God, let the pain dissolve right now by the, Amen. the influence of your word. Lord Amen. God, I speak to it. I'm not Amen. just talking about it, but I'm speaking to it and it moves away. It Amen. dissolves Amen. in the Jesus. name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. It, it, the pain is there as though it forces to bend a little bit. But I command that it dissolves completely with no trace behind. In Amen. Jesus name. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. Naomi. Thank you, sir. God bless yeah. you, sir. You're welcome. Naomi, can you please? Oh, thank you, Father. The Lord will be up concerning you to pray for you. And he said, I should tell you, you are winning. He said, I should tell you, you are winning. And so, Lord God, I thank you for victory over Naomi. Thank you because your word is still producing. Your word is still producing. Thank you for, Lord God, you have. He said, like we read in Genesis today. He said, for a father of many nations have I made you. And he said before him who he believed. Lord, thank you because according to your word, she is winning. And let her victory be total, thorough, and complete. I decree it again. Total, thorough, and complete. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. Thank you. For you help her help us. For you help her help us. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let us pray, Ma. Mama uh, Atinuka. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Father God, I want to thank you, Lord, for your daughter. Can you hear me, ma? I believe you can. Unmute yourself. Okay? Unmute yourself. Oh, thank you. Okay. Evening, sir. Are you talking to me, sir? Yes, ma. Okay. Sorry. Sir. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Can you use your mouth to declare? Let the doors yes, open up. Can you use your mouth to declare? Let the yes, door Father, in the name of Jesus, let the, the door doors open. open up. I see a open up. door in front of you, but you need mm -hmm. to come through it and look inside. Father, let let it the doors open, open up. Name of let Jesus. the opportunities open up. Thank you in the let name of Jesus. Let the doors open up. Lord God, thank you for you causing the door to open up in the name of Jesus. Let access open. Let the access open to your daughter in the name of Jesus. Let He said, open the gates that the righteous nation may come in. You will keep them in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on. But I decree that the the access door be open and open. stay open in the name of Jesus. It's open. Amen. Stay open and let Amen. you be in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, sir. Mr. Hallelujah. Gina, uh, Zina. Yeah, Zina, can you please open for me? Can you please open for me? Okay. 
Yes, sir. Okay. Good afternoon. I mean, good evening, ma'am. Good evening, sir. Yeah. The Lord says every debris that seems to have uh, been strewn <laughs> on the path, creating the yes, sir. yeah. Please listen carefully. The Lord is saying mm -hmm. that every debris that has been strewn on the path that is making you to want to like. It's like somebody driving through uh, a road that has just been strewn over with uh, uh, snow and boulders of uh, ice flakes that have to carefully navigate and go through. Lord God, that you will yes, pave the path so that, Lord God, that there will be a smooth journey to the next station. Lord, for your daughter. Amen. Next station is actually Amen. next season in the name Amen. of Jesus. Lord God, that the, it looks a window of a, almost like the next thing is like a window of a few years, maybe three, four years down the road that a particular season will end. Almost Amen. like a season of, okay, this is concerning career. In three, four years, this will be the end of this and a new season will come. And the Lord says, I'm Amen. waiting for you at the entry point of the new season. Amen. And that I will, that none of that which should be accruable to you will be kept back. Amen. Ahead of you on that. Amen. It, it looks to me like, a, almost like a retirement package. Amen. Definitely, yeah. sir. Excuse me? Uh, I don't definitely. Know, I don't know his range, but he's it, it showing me like three, four years down the road. But that that just is... just a, just a year and a half. Wow, I didn't know that. Okay, anyway, that that, that which is due you, not a single pence will be kept back. Amen. Thank you, Father, for the release, and thank Amen. you, Lord God, for for defending her. She would not have to. Uh, do twist and turn to get that which you have set aside for her. Lord, thank you because Amen. you're able to lay hold on it. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. No oh, praise. Amen. God. Yeah. Uh, Amen. The next person here, Ayodele, can you please, yeah, can you please, uh, uh, now call me after this meeting, even though I will be going out, but Immediately after the meeting, you call me. So, Ayodele, can you please unmute? Okay, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Ayodele, okay. Yeah. Ayodele Oluwashi, that's the name. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Thank you. Lord God, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. This word in the Bible in which a, a person was in distress and he came to the king and he said, Help me, O oh my Lord, O oh King. And the king said, If the Lord does not help you, then I cannot be of use or help. Say, how can then I help you? But the Lord is saying, Your help is in my hand. That which you need is in my hand. You only need to come with that which is in your hand to me and be willing to lay it down to pick something bigger. Let me paint a scenario to you. What you are expecting is new to you, but it's not new to God. But God says, I have it in my hand to help you. And stop holding on to what looks like an old idea or philosophy or a mindset. There are new things I want to show you and school you through so that you can gain a better advantage to so receive an insight to be able to let God do that which only Him could give you. Luke 24, verse 45, ma'am. Yes, sir. Something significant is going to come to the I've just given you that. I write that scripture down. But this yes, is what it says. Then open he their mind that they might understand scriptures. 
let scriptural realities begin to drop for you. Amen. And produce results in you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And I go, let the Amen. time of the word begin. Amen. Tackled this same singular mountain long enough. The time to go mm. forward is here to receive mm -hmm. the elevation determined by God Himself in Jesus. Mm. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, this madam, Florence, the Florence or Ladily, can you please, ma'am, open up for me? Hello, sir. Yeah. Good evening, bless. sir. Yeah. God bless you, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. So I, uh, uh, I want to say this word from the Lord for you. And uh, I want you to take it serious. Can you come there, please? Yes. The yeah. curtain there. Please. The lace, can you pull it back? So, the Lord says, the, the patience will produce the desired result. Your mm -hmm. patience will produce the desired result. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, so it said, hold your peace. Your patience will produce the desired result. And so, mm -hmm. Father, thank you. Any form of, I don't want to call it uh, sibling rivalry, mm -hmm. but any form of cold war Lord God, thank you because you put an end to it. Amen. So that you can live. The Bible says if you obey me and serve me, you live the rest of your days in prosperity. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And the rest of your years in pleasure. Put Amen. your right hand on your midsection like this, man. Lord, okay. I speak if there be any pain around the midsection there. Yes. Around the base of the sternum. The base okay. of the sternum. Yes. You are part of the cleavage because you are a woman. Lord, I decree that everything that is wrong in there be healed and resolved right now. Amen. Right in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let there be an instantaneous intervention. Amen. The rest and the peace and the ease that she needed in Amen. the name of Jesus. And thank Amen. you for your close an overflow of praise to come from her mouth to the praise Amen. of the name of God. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Let every form of unhealthy competition come to an end. Amen. A decree, let it come to an end. Amen. She, she will spend her time in peace and gratitude to God. In Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Sister Kofo, can you please unmute for me? I'm sure I've not prayed with you. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Hallelujah. Yes, As the Lord uh, shows you to me, he's still saying the same thing. Almost like a new space. He's talking about a space, almost like a space, specific space in the office. Almost like where your seat used to be and your office, maybe where your desk used to be. There's going to be an adjustment in there. But it's going to be to your advantage. And it would also okay. I decree that, Lord, that which is next will come through with speed. Some events okay. and uh, what will I, I don't want to use the word reshuffle. Almost like a cabinet reshuffle is about to take place. But Lord God, let it upscale and upgrade your daughter in the mm -hmm. name of Jesus. Lord God, thank mm -hmm. you. Let the thing, let that protocols will be broken. And mm -hmm. let the result come in favor of your daughter. Let protocol mm -hmm. be broken and let it come in favor of your daughter in the mm -hmm. name of Jesus. 
-hmm. Yeah, something very mild is like going on, almost like uh, I don't want to call use the word gout, but it's like something is hurting one of your legs that don't make you to want to wear shoe for a long time. That you rather wear something soft and comfy on your leg because of one of the legs at the lower part, maybe towards the toes and all of that. And uh, I just speak comfort and speak healing right now. And you put your hand on your knee down, everything that hurt between the knee and the phalanges, I command them to eat out right now. Put your hand, it feels like the right leg. Looking at it. feels like the right leg. That is that's the spot there. As the great Lord in the name of Jesus. Let that be changed right now. No pain in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, Lord. As even the, the, the shuffle, the reshuffle takes place, that Lord, she may not even be on seat when the news will come through for her. Lord God, thank you because she will hear from outside. And rush back and say, okay, that's the new place. Father, thank you for the new thing. In Jesus' name. Amen. I really feel like I should stop now. Please let me stop now. Is there any other person here? I think I've prayed for most people here, apart from Grace. Have I prayed for you? Have you prayed for Sister Duny? Okay. Where is she? She's there, sir. I'm not going to. <clears throat> I've not seen her. I've not seen her. Okay, can you please say praise the Lord, ma, so I can see you. We're no, we're only using one page now. Okay, yeah, I see her now. Thank you. Hallelujah. Okay, ma, can you unmute for me? Oh, thank you. Can you unmute for me? Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Yes, sir. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. It said, I hear the night, the night hourly outcry. And result is on the way. It's almost like Amen. marking a 1 a.m. time to pray. A 1 a.m. time pray to pray. A prayer time that you've been keeping. It looks like 1 a.m. to pray briefly and go back to sleep. But the Lord says the Amen. reward for that is coming through. The reward for that Amen. is coming through. It's becoming a yes. What has been a no before it's becoming a yes. Father, thank you. Amen. Lord God, thank you because thank you, Lord. you are still the one who hears, who give you give songs in the night. Lord God, thank you for giving her Amen. songs in the night. Turning, Lord God, thank you, Lord. Like that songwriter wrote, he made it turn my uh, morning into dancing. Thank you for turning morning into dancing, Lord. Amen. Turning morning into Amen. dancing, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise and honor, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord says, "Stand still and see my help come through." Thank you for making. Thank you for making that happen right now. Thank you for showing yourself strong on the on the behalf of your daughter in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we Amen. can we unmute ourselves and just show up? I think uh, 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 our family quite a distance today. Okay, it's on video now. I didn't know that. Okay. So please put on your camera if you can, a microphone if you can. Let's just pray. I mean, let's just greet each other and, uh, and uh, close, close the meeting.